So if you're a first time mom and you're about to deliver a baby and you're going home and you're wondering what's going to happen in your postpartum period, I will share my experience to you guys. So listen to this. So when I took my baby home for the first time, I was pretty nervous because like I mentioned in the other video, I don't know how to change diapers and uh, I don't know how to feed a baby and breastfeeding journey was not easy for me. So we had to take it very, very slow. So as a first time mother, my husband was very, very supportive to me. And my I had a great um, family support system. So this is something that I do recommend for everyone that um, uh, collect your village people, collect them all. You need all the help in the world because raising a baby is not an easy job, especially the first six months. Uh, sorry, the first six weeks, you want to take care of yourself and the baby at the same time. So it's, it's really, really important that you do take care of yourself and someone is looking after your baby while you're sleeping or taking a shower or eating, whatever it may be. So when you bring the baby home, first thing that you want to do is uh, make a separate room in the home, uh, a safe place safe space for the baby um, put the baby in the crib or put the baby in a bassinet whatever you have after that make sure you have all the milk supply or if you're breastfeeding um, continue doing breastfeeding which we which we highly recommend and doctor highly recommend uh, do breastfeeding than um, milk or formula after that all the basic needs that baby have during postpartum is really um just drinking milk changing pooping or peeing so you'll be constantly changing their diapers um constantly crying if not and sleeping so they usually sleep a lot in the beginning but they're they're they drink milk throughout the day little by little little by little so it just really depends on baby to babies but first six week uh babies are gonna sleep so much so you're gonna have plenty of uh awake time especially in the night time and you're gonna be exhausted during the daytime because babies night and day schedules are usually mixed up so they think that it's morning but it's actually night and vice versa also mama one thing i highly recommend during your postpartum period is meditate this is something that i have done along my postpartum journey i know it wasn't easy for me but i just focused on myself i meditate five times uh sorry five minutes a day and that helped me a lot and if i had to take a break i would tell my husband or my mom at that time hey can you please look after this baby for like five ten minutes let me just go take a breather because you really really need a uh, fresh share and it is okay if you take a five or ten minute break of your day and give it to yourself because you're looking after the baby the whole day so it, it, it makes sense to look after yourself too um when it comes to food wise you guys make sure you're eating healthy stuff make sure you're eating um nutritious healthy good stuff and putting good stuff in your body because that's really important your body is weak after the birth and po uh, birth so you want to make sure you're de uh, you're you drink lots and lots of water um you eat good food also when it comes down to the baby you guys you want to make sure that you avoid less contact with people that you don't know and just give yourself that time and give other you know give your baby time so in my postpartum journey i um, limited my visitors so i can just f solely focus on my baby and not have to worry about other people not have to worry about um, them coming in and cooking and, and cleaning and looking after other people and guests so kindly if you want to do that i would highly recommend doing that also nobody really tells you is like women bleed a lot after um, birth they continuously bleeding for six weeks so you're gonna have to um, so avoid having sex avoid having uh, um, those things because you don't want to get pregnant during uh, your postpartum period which is really really wrong but anyways if you're <laughs> Uh, you know again it's person to person but doctors say avoid having sex just focus on yourself focus on the baby focus on your health and focus on all the good stuff and also one more thing i want to share is um take care of yourself you guys at the end of the day because no one else will and that baby of yours is a special baby so thank god you have a baby and uh, always have a positive outlook so comment below if you have any questions and let me know how was your post